DR Production TV for legit news. Please remember if you're new here to leave a like, a share and of course your subscription. With the slim success that the Jamaican authorities have scored over the last three years with the prosecution of four criminal organizations, must rise on the ability of much tooted anti-gang legislation to secure conviction against 33 alleged members of a ruthless clansman gang. The alleged gangsters including Andre Blackman Bryan, the reputed leader of the Wandan gang, a splinter of the St. Catherine North based clansman are all expected to begin their trial to lay in the home circuit court. The trial, which is believed to be the largest anti-gang trial in the English-speaking Caribbean, will see the 32 men and one woman being tried under the Criminal Justice Suspicion of Criminal Organization Act 2014, better known as the anti-gang legislation, on, on an indictment with 25 counts for allegedly being part of a criminal organization in a judge alone trial. The legislation came to the fore in 2014 as a major crime-fighting tool which would significantly help to dismantle the country's criminal empire and by extension help to reduce the murder rate which police have primarily attributed to morandine gangs. But the law has more failures and successes as all the members of the Dexter Street, Burglar Gully and King Valley gangs prosecuted under the Antigen Act were freed while 15 of 24 defendants arrested in the Unsheen Wilson case were also acquitted. DR Production TV for legit news. Please remember to leave your like and share and subscription to always get the latest from us here. And as usual, keep safe.